राधे राधे एवरी वन टूडे आई हैव इन्वाइटेड पूर्वा फलक हु रिसेंटली हैज क्रैक द जॉब ऑफ अ डेटा एनालिस्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली एज अ फ्रेशर इन डेटा एनालिटिक्स आफ्टर सो मच ऑफ कंसिस्टेंट हार्ड वर्क हर जर्नी इज रियली इंस्पायरिंग एंड मोटिवेटिंग सो डू वॉच दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली टिल द एंड एज यू विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ मोटिवेशन एंड इन साइट्स टू मूव forward in your career all right let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos like this subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs so let's start with the introduction of purva so purva can you introduce yourself and also walk us through your data analytics journey please hello everyone uh, i am purva falak i am currently working as a data analyst in sangitam travels i started my career as a civil engineer uh but uh, then i transitioned into data analytics and uh, in this podcast i am sharing my journey and learnings and the challenges i have faced uh, in my entire journey so i belong uh, from the busawal uh, which is in the jalgaon district maharashtra so i done my schooling um, in busawal and i completed my graduation as well uh, there so in 2021 i completed my civil engineering and later i uh, prepared for the gate examination for almost 2 years so i appeared in that examination in 2021 and 22 uh, twice uh, then uh, i but i haven't get the expected result uh, what i expected uh, so i uh, explored other civil engineering uh, softwares uh, from mid of the 2022 um that civil engineering softwares are autocad autocad 3d revit or uh, sketchup uh, many software like this so later on the basis of autocad i got a job as a gis analyst in starting of the 2023 what is uh, gis analyst gis analyst uh, means which is based on uh, digital mapping so uh, they have their other software like archicads uh and other software so we have to work on uh, that so that they is non technical us, uh yes they uh, that is non uh, non technical so uh, means that role is also different from civil engineering uh actually i uh, got selected there on the basis of autocad knowledge but that was different from civil engineering so uh, i was feeling stuck there means i was uh, missing something and uh, means i thought uh, uh, i need to change a career uh, at that point uh, so i discovered about the data analytics uh, and i developed my interest so um, then i started doing the course in data analytics from one of the institute in pune and i completed in mid of the 2024 so for how long you worked there in that uh, civil engineering company so i worked there for almost 6 months and uh, later i started the data analyst course means i uh, stop uh, there and i started uh, the data analyst course that i completed in the mid of 2024 later i have done the different internships so uh, they provided me the internships of uh, ai variant uh, in ai variant technologies so uh, this internship based on the two data uh, two data sets means one is the uh, uh, banking domain and one is of healthcare domain so we have to uh, work on each tool which is used in data analytics uh, in these projects and in these internships so from the institute where you learned the skills of a data analyst you got the opportunity to do the internship like you had to complete few projects and after completion you, you were told that you will be given a internship certificate right that's what you're saying uh yes yes exactly and uh, i didn't get any uh, calls from there and uh, means uh, obviously and because of that i am not selected from there and i am uh, i am left with nothing so i started doing the another internships that which are the remote internships it's like i have done the cognifice technologies internships which is a power bi uh, which uh, where i worked as a power bi intern i did the uh, mentorness internships then the other remote internships at pwc and tata where i worked in the data visualization means on power bi uh, and the different uh, domain data so uh, after completing internships means i got the basic knowledge of the tools means to work on data and how to gain insights uh, then i started to applying for jobs after creating the resume but i am not getting interview calls from nokri and linkedin from nowhere i also started uh, uh, started doing mails but i am not uh, getting the response to mails also uh, 
uh, then i got to know about the ats friendly resume uh, thing then i started working on my resume and um, firstly my ats score was 33 uh, when i haven't improved uh, anything in it and later i improved it and uh, it is now 85 and then after uh, improving my resume after modifying my resume i started applying again and i applied on the regular basis uh, means da- uh, daily i am applying uh, applying uh, on nokri and linkedin uh, and found it also uh, then i started getting some calls but i am facing rejections uh, from one to two interviews so i started preparing again and i stopped applying that time and i started preparing again uh, because i felt uh, quite under confident about my skills uh, so i uh, prepared from youtube this time uh, i started doing projects also in 2024 i was doing this and uh, with this simultaneously i was active on linkedin and whatever certifications i have or projects i have done i was posting on um, li- my linkedin profile okay the means uh, i can get a visibility and means the people got to know that yes i have that skills and i know these things uh, so after 6 months i had nothing in my hands so i started applying again uh, then i uh, but i haven't getting the data analyst role that i want uh, then i got the back end executive role then i joined uh, to uh, means to uh, to be financially independent and to be mentally strong i joined there which company you joined as a back end executive in an academy again a kind of management role right yes for how long you worked in an academy as a back end executive and how much you were getting paid there per month so i was working in an academy from april 2025 uh, to october 2025 till i get the other role so in this 6 months i continued to upskill myself uh in the terms of the data i can't be able to disclose the payment but it's it was on lower side uh then then uh i i was active on linkedin that time also so uh i got a uh, linkedin referral uh for this role uh from one of my connection asked me about um, uh the data analyst role so i uh, got uh, so i interviewed there and i got selected as data analyst in the sangitam travels so you mentioned about two important points uh, one was your resume right uh, which had 85% atc score so first of all uh, please show that resume to the audience and secondly also talk about your linkedin presence you told that uh, because of linkedin only you got the referral right so how good you were on linkedin and what one should do on linkedin to uh, get attention and get uh, recognized by other connections and get the interview call eventually the way you have got so can you throw some light on these two things so this is my uh, it is friendly resume so what i included in that uh, in this resume is on top i have uh, mentioned my uh, phone number and mail then i have mentioned my linkedin profile uh, github uh, github profile and my portfolio and then the important thing is skills that uh, you know and then work experience and your projects and education and certifications that i have explained so one page resume is enough so since you are a fresher in data analytics you talked about your virtual internship of 4h which is power bi intern pwc switzerland and one is that management role you had in uh, an academy right so did yes. this affect you in the interview in the current company in which you are working means you had no prior experience in analytics where you utilized power bi sql and all right so how was the uh, like reaction of the interviewers yes uh, i have worked before on non uh, in non technical jobs only so uh, that's why i created my uh, portfolio i i have showed all my projects internships and certifications in my uh, portfolio so uh, they asked me about the skills obviously uh, but i uh, showed them my projects and everything so based on your portfolio which has all of your projects and uh, certificates and internships yes. they were fine with that and they were uh, asking questions on top of that right yes exactly thank you pura for sharing this all these things also friends if you want this if you want to get it just let me know i will take it from pura and provide the link to you to download it all right can you also as i mentioned can you show your linkedin profile as well how you were posting and what all things helped you to make your online presence uh, strong 
so uh, this is my linkedin profile so first thing here is to create a good banner so that people will go to know that what you exactly do and what your role is then a good profile picture then a good headline means not too much extra thing to add here and there and then i have mentioned here my portfolio and this is a website i have mentioned here so i have uploaded this website on github i created this using html so in this website there are five sections so in about me i have mentioned all of my skills and uh, what i know and secondly the project so in this i have mentioned all my projects which i done using excel sql and uh, power bi uh, so here is experience means here i mentioned my uh, all internships and their certification and what i have learned in that inter internships in brief so this is very important friends to have your portfolio mentioned under your bio the way she has done if your bio has the portfolio link that recruiters can directly see or anybody can directly click on that and they can see your actual work what you have done in your past couple of years or couple of months it really creates a very very good impression and you can see how beautifully and interactive purva has created her portfolio so please do create a portfolio if you, if you are a fresher in data analytics yes after that i have um, posted here all the learnings and uh, all the certifications and project i have did in the internships and uh, letter uh, the experience i have and education i did and all the certification and uh, what skills i have uh, got from that certification i have mentioned and the projects uh, i mentioned here also uh, all the projects and the skills that's it so purva has very beautifully designed her linkedin profile please do uh, check out her profile on linkedin okay you can take a reference from her profile how projects she has mentioned about certification about section bio everything is to the point and very very interactive so anybody can uh, give her a response if you will be also creating profile like this and being active on linkedin creating your linkedin credibility it will actually create opportunities for you if you will be if you will be consistent with the time and the way she has got final referral only she got through linkedin only and she got the interview call and finally she got selected in the company in which she is working right now so thank you purva for sharing your profile and telling about the things in detail so purva as you have mentioned that uh, you are considered uh, as a fresher right uh, in your current company for a data analyst role so as a fresher how much salary one can expect based on your uh, experience so for freshers uh, you can expect the salary range from 3.2 to 4 lpa uh, thank you so much pura again for coming and sharing your amazing journey people will definitely get a lot of insights and motivation so thank you so much once again for coming yes thank you